True story, someone I know spent $1,000 on paid ads and made zero sales. When they confronted the company who ran the paid ads, do you know what they said? They said the reason their product likely didn't get any sales was because they didn't have any reviews. Don't make this costly mistake. If your products aren't converting, this could be why. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix it. Before we get into the video, if you like videos about winning products, drop shipping, Shopify themes, apps, and tutorials, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button and turn notifications on. Now, let's get into the video. Reviews hold a lot of weight in the customer's buying decision. Think of yourself when you buy a product. Do you check the reviews? I know I do. It's one of the first things I check. If your products aren't converting, this could be why. Let's fix that now. All right, first things first, let's install the app we are going to use. From your Shopify dashboard, click Apps. Customize your store. Then search for Viva Reviews. Why this app specifically? First, it's from the makers of Sell the Trend, and if you watched my last video on how we find winning products, you'll know that Sell the Trend is an all-in-one dropshipping platform. I'm a fan of their platform, so when I saw they have a review importing app, I wanted to give it a try. The other two reasons are one, the ease of use. When you're importing reviews, you don't have to paste the AliExpress link. You can send their AI bots to find your product for you. And the second reason is because they have Google rich snippets, which means when you show up in search results, your review rating will automatically display as well, which is going to make your listing stand out from your competition. All right, let's get this installed. When you get here, the first thing you want to do is click import settings. Here you can choose to show reviews from a certain date range, such as the last 30 days, last year, or lifetime. Under quantity, by default, it's set to 50 reviews. This isn't necessarily how many reviews you will end up publishing because as you will see in a minute, you can manually go through the reviews if you want, but here's where you can change that number if you wish. Next, we have rating options. You can choose to only import a certain star review if you wish or a combination of any of these. I personally don't recommend importing only five star reviews. Doing this will come off as inauthentic, but just for the purposes of this video, I wanted to show you the options that are available. Reviewer locations. You might want to limit this if you are targeting a specific country, but otherwise you can leave this as is. Photo options. You can choose to only import reviews that contain a photo. I feel that these type of reviews hold the most social proof, so I'm going to adjust my settings to photo reviews only. Content options. Reviews without content are reviews where they only give a star rating with no written text. You can choose to translate your reviews here if you wish. And right here where you can generate a dummy name, this replaces those AliExpress reviews where the name of the reviewer is starred out and instead replaces it with an auto-generated name. And last, we have the option to manually review the reviews before publishing, or if you want to, you can allow every imported review to automatically publish. When you're finished, click Update Settings. Now it's time to import our reviews, so click Import Reviews. Find the product you want to import reviews for and click import review. Now when you get here, you can either paste the AliExpress product link here, or you can have their AI bots find the product for you. Here you can see they found a list of matches for my listing, but if it's ever unclear that they've identified the correct product, you can always click the AliExpress icon to view the product on the AliExpress website to be sure. This top listing has the most orders and I expect the most reviews as well, so I'm going to click import on this one. My 25 reviews have been imported, now let's take a look. Here are all the reviews that were imported. You can see that they all have photos just like I selected, they all have names, and they all have a 5 star rating. With the imported reviews, you can choose to edit them if you'd like to, so if there's a spelling error or something like that, you can edit the text. You can also choose not to show certain reviews by flipping the switch on its status, or for a more permanent fix, you can also delete the review. Once you're happy, click Publish All. Now when you click on your product, you should see your store reviews. The only issue, and this may depend on which theme you're using, is that they are too far down on the page. This is what we're going to change next. To do this, go to Online Store and click Customize on your theme. From the drop-down, click Products, Default Product. 
Now, if we look back at our product page, we can see that the reviews are appearing underneath our email newsletter. So if we look under that section, here we can see it. It's labeled SARM reviews. You want to drag that up right underneath our product information section. You'll see I have the Shopify review app here, so I'm just gonna switch that off. Unfortunately, I didn't see this review app as a block option underneath product information, so that's why I placed it directly below. All right, save your work, and now let's take a look. If you like this video, do me a favor and give it a thumbs up or leave me a comment down below. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe. We post a lot of time sensitive content such as winning products on this channel. So make sure you have notifications turned on so that you can be one of the first to market when we post those videos.